And if technology does distract us, technology could help. We mentioned the new technology that is available. I want you all to look at how this technology works in action. One, two, three. And I'd play my old guitar, we'd fight mosquitoes and enjoy our backyard concerts for we had no television. Oliver! We'd just begun our life as men and white, and hardships then could scarcely scare us into quitting. Things were far from being fine, we often died on a dime, but there never was a time we didn't. This one. Susan, you've done a lot of research yourself as part of your documentary. Why is that technology not standard in new cars? I have emailed the Auto Alliance on numerous occasions. Most of the time they ignored me, and when they did email me back, they said that they were studying the matter and that they were educating the parents. I got an answer for you. Yes. The automakers are going to become liable. Exactly. So there are, it's litigation they're afraid of. They're afraid of the litigation. If that system doesn't work, doesn't work at the time, if, if something gets unplugged, then they're going to get sued to say that the, it was defective. They that's were. why they're not going to respond to you. You know, as their attorney, if I were their attorney, that's what I would say. Let's not do this because we're going to add more liability onto our, our table, and we don't want to do that. And the other thing is you have the proponents, and then you have the distractors out in, in um, Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. and you've got people who are lobbying um, the legislatures from the auto industry saying, don't do this because, you know, X, Y, and Z, and it all becomes a political thing then, you know, you know raising the money for the next election, it, and it's all politics then. Mm -hmm. So it takes a long and hard fight to finally get it approved. I mean, being from Detroit, you know how that auto industry Absolutely. works, don't but you? These Absolutely. these politicians need to speak to parents like me because right. at the end of the day, or it's got that happen to them. I would have my daughter today if I'd had that technology. I learned a lot today. And I wouldn't have learned this much, Susan, if it weren't for you. And, and congratulations mm -hmm. for making this wonderful documentary and delving further into the subject. Dr. Diamond, Thank you. I applaud you for all of your research. But most importantly, Tanya, I applaud you. I respect you. And I'm so sorry for your loss. But thank you for taking tragedy and, and using it as a tool to teach all of us. And I can tell you, if someone watching this show doesn't believe it could happen to them after hearing your story, then they just weren't listening.